I'm wrestling days, and you're watching to my phenomenal figures, the best channel on all of YouTube. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here today from Arsenal Figures. Before we do get into the backlash predictions, hope this lighting actually looks pretty good. I have a ring light right here shining on the arena. We have a new arena set up. So what I did is I put it on a table and um, it looks really good on video actually. This looks really good so there's a look of it from a side this i don't know about the commentary table i might i might put this in the corner here or put it here because it's not enough not enough space here to have it or i could even just push back the crowd a little more i have not put the crowd members in the crowd just yet still need to put them in the crowd but yeah that's what i'm doing next we got the commentary table then we got the ring the same ring, it's like the same kind of setup. You can't really see the barricades too good over there, but like, I don't know, it's, it's definitely better than like what I used to have on the floor. It was just getting annoyed, my back was sore. This is a big change. I was, I took this all down, my whole arena. Uh, I wanted to do like before, before and after, but I never got a chance. Yeah, but really quickly, I don't want to talk about this too long because I got to do backlash predictions, but I took down the old arena for a while, then I went uh, to, on holidays to Belfast for the WWE live show, vlog is up on that, go check it out, it's an amazing video, that was like the only video I did, like proper video in weeks, then I did some shorts off that, Cody Rhodes' entrance is on the channel, and so is Drew McIntyre's, check them out, they are sick, the thing that I'm realizing is, all of these are good, and then this one is kind of like ripped or something, like, I don't know, anyways, but yeah, I took down the whole arena, kept it down for a while, and then I finally got to set up the newer one today. But yeah, there will be a another video on this. There will be another video on this uh, after Backlash uh, review. After the review of Backlash, let's get into the predictions. I've talked for two minutes. I'm getting into predictions. The first match. Uh -uh. The first match is Bailey. You know what? Let's put this more kind of in the center. I kind of think it is. Bailey. Versus Naomi versus Tiffany Stratton for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Um, I feel like Backlash didn't really have a lot of time to build new feuds because it was straight after WrestleMania, and they didn't really build up new feuds that good. But um, my prediction for this match is going to be Bailey retains her title by pinning Naomi, and uh, Tiffany Stratton. Will not be taking the pin here because they've built her up so much. So I don't think she's going to take the pin. So Bailey will win. And Bailey will win by pinning Naomi. And uh, maybe like Tiffany Stratton will hit a move on Naomi. And Bailey will like sneak in. Get the win. And then Naomi and Tiffany Stratton might go into like a whole separate feud or something. Because that kind of seems the way they're going to do it. But I'm not 100% on that. But I'm definitely going to say that Bailey does retain her title here. And afterward, Nia Jax is going to come out and destroy... Bailey pretty much like attack Bailey, probably like put her through the table or something. Then she's gonna stand tall with the SmackDown Women's Championship. Um, to left fence and all that. That is the next match they're gonna be doing with Bailey because I think that they're definitely gonna do Bailey versus Nia Jax for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Bailey retains the title. Next match. The next, <coughs> next match is Bianca Belair and uh, Jade Cargill versus Oscar. And God damn, I always remember her name or forget her name. Kyrie saying the Kabuki Warriors representing Damage Control versus Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill. My prediction for this match is that Damage Control lose their tag team titles. Jesus Christ, everything just fell over. And Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill walk around, walk away with the WWE. Tag team champions. I'm gonna go. For, I'm gonna predict that Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill win the tag team titles because I do not see them giving it to Damage Control. I do not see Damage Control winning this match. So that is my prediction. Next match. The next match is Kevin Owens and Randy Orton versus Solo Sokoa and Tamatonga. I know that that is not. This is not Tamatonga. I just do not. The lighting keeps on like. Do you see this? I don't know. I don't know if the lighting kind of looks good on the video. But anyways, the next match is Tamatunga and Solo versus Randy and Kevin. The Bloodline versus Randy and Kevin. 
This year has actually been pretty good. They kicked Jimmy Uso out of the bloodline. I'm going to just put the ropes up because I'm sick of holding them. They kicked Jimmy Uso out of the bloodline. Solo kicked him out. Introduced a new member, uh, Tamatunga. I feel so sorry for Paul Heyman in this feud, in this, uh, feud, in this storyline. Because um, Paul Heyman, he, like, basically cannot... He basically, like, has to follow Solo, right? He has to do the leader. He has to do what Solo says pretty much right now. Roman is still the tribal chief. But it's going to be Roman... And the Usos versus Tamatunga, Solo, and what's the other guy's name? Jacob Fatu. Cannot wait for that match. The match is gonna that's gonna that's gonna cook. That feud is gonna cook. But anyways, I gotta get to my prediction. So yeah, Jimmy's out. I feel sorry for Paul. He's, he's so funny in this. Paul Heyman is just very funny in the storyline. So here's what I think is gonna happen. So Jimmy Uso. I don't know if this is gonna happen on you know what? <sighs> this could be the wrong prediction. And if I say the wrong prediction. I get it wrong, and it's just, you know, it's annoying, but, you know what, I'm going to go with it, I'm going to go with it, so, hit ye, I know ye, yo, know ye, Jimmy Uso, I think, they're probably going to do a black hoodie, he's going to come out, cost, Tabatunga and Solo, because they got to build this storyline to the next match, and they cannot continue with Kevin Owens, and, um, Randy Orton in this Storyline. So Jimmy Uso is gonna come out black hoodie. He's gonna cost Tabatunga and Solo. But I also see, but I also don't see them pinning Solo or Tabatunga. So, but I still think this is gonna happen. Randy might hit an RKO on Solo or Tabatunga, and I think Solo's gonna win it, lose, and it's gonna be like losing has consequences. It backfires on him. He kicked Jimmy out for losing, and then Jimmy Uso can use that in the promo and say like. I thought losing had consequences, you just lost. And then basically they can build on the Jimmy and Solo feud. And then Jay comes in, then Roman comes in. I definitely think that they're going to start Jimmy versus Solo. Also, another thing, I don't think Jimmy was drafted to Raw or SmackDown. Let me know in the comments if he actually was, because I can't remember. My prediction is going to be Kevin and Randy. This could be a stupid, pred this could be a stupid prediction, because Kevin and Randy might lose, and then they can't go into a feud, that's kind of what I want to have, but I kind of want Randy to turn heel, but I also want to see Randy one versus Carmelo Hayes in the one-on-one -on -one match, but you know what, I'm going to go with the bloodline, and Jimmy helps them win, because there's, like, this show is kind of predictable, right, and I feel like we need, like, somewhat of a surprise on this show, so, that can be their surprise, if I'm wrong, I think there definitely might be a surprise match as well, but if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, next match, the next match is Ye main event Jey Uso versus Damian Priest. I really want Jey Uso to get a world title, to get a world title so bad. Because uh, he's been after a world title now for so long. And it's so sad that they're making him face Damian Priest. Damian Priest's first title defense. Alright, I'm going to be... I'm going to get straight to the point. Jey Uso won on Monday Night Raw this week with the help of Andrade and Ricochet. So my prediction for this match is going to be that... Sorry about that. That... JD McDonough, JD McDonough from Ireland, right? He helps, JD McDonough helps uh, Damien Priest win and proves himself in the Judgment Day because JD is basically going to help Damien win and Damien's going to be happy with, J J uh, with JD again because he's been pissed at him lately because the Judgment Day has been taking L's other than Damien Priest. So I don't think JD is going to win here. Unfortunately, I got to predict Damien because I also think they're going to do Damien versus Drew at Clash of the Castle, but they also could do Jay versus Damien at Clash of the Castle. So I don't know, man. It's hard to predict. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the prediction. Damien wins. JD is going to help him. Yeah, that's definitely right. Next one. And I got to end with the last match. AJ Styles versus Cody Rhodes for the more WWE Undisputed. Is it called the Universal Championship? Universal Championship. Uh... Mm, Alright, so, I would love AJ Styles to win, but it would make absolutely no sense for AJ Styles to win, because Cody Rhodes would have a really short title reign, and I just don't really want that for Cody Rhodes, and he can't just do that against losing to Roman Reigns, so unfortunately, I see no chance that AJ Styles win this, Cody Rhodes is winning, and um, this should be an absolute banger of a match, I wouldn't be mad if AJ Styles won, because he's my favorite, but it's not the right decision, uh, Cody Rhodes pretty much has to win this match. This is a must win for Cody Rhodes this Sunday or this Saturday at Backlash. The review for this show will be out tomorrow. Cody Rhodes is going to win this match. It's going to be an absolute banger, though. Hopefully, it's a match tonight. I'm very excited for this match. And Damian versus Jay. 
other than that, I'm not really that excited for the other matches. I kind of, uh, but uh, yeah, that was the predictions. That was the backlash predictions. Thank you a lot for watching. I hope everyone enjoys backlash this Saturday. The show be should. God, I tripped. The show should be good. There's nothing announced that from SmackDown. Only five matches got announced. I'm gonna go watch SmackDown now because I've not watched it yet. I was sent up from the arena, so I never got a chance to watch it. But uh, yeah, thank you a lot for watching. My final figures out. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. I do post on there. As much as I try to. I always try to post it there. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope everyone enjoys Backlash. My Flow Figures out. Thank you for watching.